and welcome to another Synth Sunset walkthrough with me, The Unfinished. We're back with Nordsund and Zebra, as you can see on the screen, beautiful Zebra. And um, this is Nordsund Snow. So this is the companion volume to Nordsund Dusk, which I've already done a walkthrough video for. And this is all part of Nordsund 2, which is the follow-up to my original Nordsund sound sets, Blood and Gold which were created primarily for the bridge, a uh, Danish-Swedish television series. I've gone over it in a bit more detail in the Dusk walkthrough beginning video. You can go and have a look at it there, or you may have already done. Um, but what we're going to do is crack straight into some sounds on here and say a bit more about what Nordson Snow is about. From the name, you're probably guessing it's a Nordic noir-inspired sound set and that is very true and with it being called snow we're looking at slightly uh, lighter more organic crisper icier sounds um small and intimate sounds ranging all the way up to vast and epic sounds uh trying to reflect the barren quality of sort of the arctic circle and the lies and secrets that lurk within etc so let's crack on with some sounds and let's just crack on with some sounds. The first thing you'll notice um, if you're already taking a look at the um, Nords and Dusk uh, walkthrough video is that there's a lot less Cynthia analog stuff here. A more organic vibe, definitely. And again, we've got 180 patches um, in the Zebra 2 version, and then another 180 patches for the Dark Edition, uh, which we'll get onto a little bit later on. So what synth sounds there are in snow, they're a lot simpler. Or grotesque. <laughs> yeah, so not all of them are simpler. Here's simpler. Some nice steady rhythms just to keep things ticking over. Nice bit of drum. So not as many uh, bass sounds as there were in Dusk, certainly. And also certainly a different vibe to them. A big fan of the organic vibe you can get out of Zebra. Still a bit of that uh, dark analog cool getting through. Because even out in the icy, icy waste, you still have that big drama. I got a few drums. An almost church bell kind of feel to that one. 
So within these sort of organic tones that we have, we have uh, glassy textures, metallic, wood, all that sort of thing. Just trying to sort of convey a little bit of the the environment, um, the bleaker environment. And a handful of leads as well. Competing with these emergency services again. That's a really weird one, that one. I like it. Okay, and lots of loops, mainly organic, of course. But a bit of analog in there, too. Like this one, we've got mostly some noise. Oh, and this one as well. I see how this is going. Somehow we're going to only hit the, the white and pink noise loops. <laughs> Like I mentioned in the Dusk walkthrough, if you've already seen that one, um, what I've really tried to add here, because, because this sound set's based on Nordic noir, so we're talking about drama, criminality, but mostly we're talking about human stories, and getting that narrative into these sounds is, is something I, I feel is important, and what I've aimed to do is to get little details and little bits of atmosphere in there that keep the sounds... Um, morphing and changing and just having a real sort of aliveness to them um, that hopefully comes across. Another noise sound. Then pads, lots of pads. and drama and long reverb tones. <laughs> Again, trying to keep things mainly subtle and fairly organic.
So there's a bit of sparseness built into these sounds as well, whereas um, there's kind of a density to the dusk sound set, because it's, it's kind of made to be part of a uh, Nordic Noir sound that's relevant to towns and cities, I suppose. And this is more the sort of the countryside and the, the more remote areas. Not to say they can't be interchanged at all, of course, but... Um... I did want to build two sound sets that had quite a different feel to them, as I had with the original um, Nordsund. Where, I, where blood was very sort of dark and, and deliberately so noisy and distorted and stuff, where, and gold was more a sort of a standard kind of feel for the, the sounds for that kind of drama. Blood was more experimental. Here I've tried to separate them out in, I suppose in terms of dark and light, but also just um, the tonal quality and the types of sounds are quite different. But I think they do complement each other very well. And they allow you to do that too. If you, when you're using them, they allow you to sort of have a palette of two palettes of sounds that you can move between that have have a kind of thematic um, connection, but that can move you between two different styles or uh, interpretations and or uh, environments essentially. Does that make sense? Well, I hope it's coming through from the sounds you listen to. As I said, lots of pads, um, because the pads are very important to this, the particular feel of this sunset. But I think it's important to, to, to listen out for the beauty in these sounds, not just the, the, the darkness and the twisted Nordic noirness. to the soundscapes. Um, so there's a mixture of darkness and light here. But they're all quite twisted and there's a lot of them again. <laughs> I, I finished pressing the note ages ago. Sometimes one of the difficult things with uh, this sort of project is when you're doing two volumes, it's deciding which volume a sound goes into because there is that interconnectedness. Trying to um, be certain you pick the right one is tricky. I've uh, probably not always got it right, especially when there's 180 of them. Tails. Oh, and I'm going to have to try the mod wheel here, aren't I? If it's described in the So 
we've got a few like this where the movement's a lot more subtle than, than some of the others. It's there, there's those gentle pulses, but... Don't always have to try and do too much. Of course, there's scope in these sounds far beyond the use of just Nordic noir. Not everyone, everyone has. Should we try the sentence again. Not everyone is going to be doing a Nordic noir series, after all. Uh, these these sounds are great for crime documentaries, of which there are a ton, but also just regular drama and um, and film scores, you know. It's that it's trying to keep that sort of narrative touch in there, that human side to things that I think makes it more uh, expandable and usable in, in various different genres and environments. not there for your, your song and dance Disney scenarios. It won't help there. Try not to spend too much time in you, Sam. We've got so much to get through. Lots of bass. of SFX, and here's one of them. And then we're on to the sequences. Now these are tremendously organic. Um, lots of glassy malady sounds going on here. To reflect that snowiness. But not all of them. What the module is here? Build to cut up. Probably not as many sequences here as there are in the uh, dusk sound set. Some nice sort of ticking pulses and stuff. Some more strings here. Um, we get to play a couple of these now. Um, a new section for me, um, as I mentioned in the dusk walkthrough, um, I felt I needed some semi electronic organic string sounds for this particular Nordson project. Sympathy. 
synthetic resonances and stuff like that and bowed vines. They sit somewhere slightly uncomfortably between a uh, sort of playable instrument and a soundscape, some of them. Like this one. So that's a feel of Zebra 2 Snow. Um, so we're going to switch over to Zebra HZ Snow now, the dark zebra, and have a little fiddle with this. Again, the dark edition is darker, um, slightly more analog, but lots of extra darkness and distortion and stuff. And a bit more CPU munching as well. <laughs> hybrid analog organic bass. Very organic bass that one. of the uh, organic sounds in, in Nords and Dender, the libraries, is the, uh, the wonderful comb filters on there. Zebra. Nice dark and metallic hit there. All right, on to keys. Bright and then so, 
atmospheric analog kind of vibes there. And kind of ethnic folk vibe to that sort of plucky string synth. So loops, lovely loops. In action. Pitchiness. I have actually used the um, the multi-stage envelopes a bit more on this one, which is something I've been meaning to do for ever such a long time, and then uh, I found it really worked for this one, and also for the next Zebra Sounds that they'll be releasing. I don't know when I'll be releasing that actually, probably January or February. I thought it was about time I really got into them. Pads! I am going to try not to spend too much time playing long pad sequences here because. We just don't have the time. Very damaged pad. Iciness there. Haunted memories that were cheery. Oh, that's not so bad. I have a feeling that sounds quite different from the Zebra 2 version. You can probably quote me on that one.
one's personal. Ooh, hello. <laughs> oh, there's some nice eternal qualities to that one. Yikes. tuning as well. It's that lovely little sort of tension and unease. <laughs> Who played that note? Okay, with me. And then onto the soundscapes, so or we're going to get dark here. Just in there. That's quite subtle, I like that. <laughs> that one makes you wait for it, doesn't it? <laughs> I was thinking, where's the sound gone? Oh dear lord, I think I can hear a helicopter coming close. I don't think it's something propellery in one of my sounds. No, it's passed by, that's right. Didn't come close again. Classy. <laughs> That's delays going on. How long's the feedback on that? Yeah, quite long feedback and a big mix. breathing quality to that one. Oh, push the mod wheel for horrors. I think we can uh, do that. Well, 
know we're all a fan of horrors here, aren't we? There we go, lots of lovely, dark, uh, organic textures. And uh, SFX, we've got one here. That's quite intense. And then on to the sequences. still very subtle elements to that. Again, quite glassy and organic these, aren't they? What's this? Resonators come up. Is there a resonator on this patch? No. What are you doing here? suggests. Yes, well, it's nice he's not. Oh, one of these melodic, uh, melodic, melodic arms, uh, sequences. Nice and drifty and strange. And then finally, the chordy one, isn't it? Yep. And then into the string section. Let's play some. <laughs> Not the most playable string instrument. <laughs> So there we have it, Zebra HZ Snow. Now I am just going to play um, one of my favorite patches, probably my favorite patch in the whole Nordson 2 um, collection is this. I do love it. Anyway, uh, so that's Zebra Snow. Um, you've seen both the Zebra 2 and Zebra HZ versions of it. I hope you like what you've heard. I um, hope you dig the sort of organic, icy, desolate, 
Um, but occasionally the intimate vibe of it, um, the big scale, the small scale, all of that. Um, so again, um, like uh, Nords and Dusk, this is going to be £24.99 for the Zebra 2 version and then £34.99 plus VAT. Sorry, I mentioned, didn't forget that before. Uh, yes, uh, £34.99 plus VAT for the Dark Edition. And the Dark Edition comes with the original Zebra patches and the expanded Zebra HZ patches. So you'd never, ever, ever, ever need to get both the normal version and the Dark Edition. Never, ever, ever, ever. Um, and again, as I mentioned in the other walkthrough video, there's going to be a bundle for Dusk and Snow together, um, so you can save a little bit of extra money getting them both at the same time. Plus, if you've never bought one of my Nord Sand, Sand sets, and what the hell do you think you're playing at, having not done that, there will be a big Nord Sand bundle with all four Dark Editions in there, and you buy them all together, but that will only be available for a short amount of time, so it's not clogging up space on my website forever. Um, yes, so thank you very much for listening and watching and whatever it else, else you might have been doing whilst this video has been playing. Um, maybe I shouldn't thank you for that. I don't know. I mustn't take responsibility for that. So thanks again. I'll be back very soon with some more stuff. I promise. Going to get a couple of sound sets out before the end of the year, this one being one of them. Because um, I've released almost nothing in about a year, haven't I? Maybe I'll do an update video about why that is at some point. But for now, I'm just going to say goodbye. Good luck.